What's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I have my first Z Flip 4 case review here. This is from Subcase. They were kind enough to send this out for review. This is their Unicorn Beetle Pro case. Uh, they come in three colors. The one they sent me is called Golden, which is kind of like a gold army green kind of looking color, but then they also have black and then another kind of bluish color called Tint. Uh, but these are going to range around 39 to 42 bucks or so on Amazon with Prime Shipping. I'll put my link down below if you are interested in purchasing one of these. Now with this case, obviously it is a rugged, heavy duty looking case here. As you can see, any flip case is a two part case for the top and the bottom. Now on the inside here, uh, this is kind of where the magic is for this case, right? So you got that kind of very recognizable kind of subcase cube looking pattern there. Does say subcase there as well, very rugged. And then up here at the top, it's kind of the same thing, but here you do see where it says pill off because it does have kind of a pill sticker there that if you do tend to keep the phone uh, case on the phone for a long period of time, then adding this little extra adhesion to the phone will keep it in place a lot better. For video purposes, I'm not going to do that but just letting you know that's what they recommend. Um, so yeah, let's get this bad boy slapped on. So what I'm gonna do is pretty simple. So literally, you just slide it on. So there you go. Push it down until you get resistance. And then basically the same thing for the top. So push, push, boom, there you go. It's clicked on nicely. And that's the look of the case installed. And guys, I gotta say, it looks pretty dang cool in person. Now, I'm not sure if this would be my forever color when it comes to a phone case. If you know anything about my channel, I love black phone cases, um, but this is actually pretty cool looking. Now, the top obviously kind of has this pretty cool look here, especially with that black carbon fiber uh, kind of uh, inlay there for uh, border protection. You do have a cool little cutout there, circular cutout for the flash. The lenses and the LCD screen are nicely recessed in, so we're not gonna have any issues if you place it back down. Kind of that rugged look there. Has these little feet at the top there and here at the bottom to kind of help with grip when you do put it back down. And that's just kind of the look of it there. Kind of has these cool little black parts here that are also feet that kind of raise up a little bit. And then you got this here, you got the UB Pro branding, which I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of that or not. Uh, just being so bold like that, I uh, kind of would have liked to have seen it maybe a little bit smaller in the corner, um, but is what it is. So that's the look there. Now when we fold it, you can see that the hinge is kind of nicely exposed. We're not going to have any issues when it's closed. And then also kind of helps close up that gap a little bit that the uh, Z Flip 4 has, you know, in between the top and bottom when it's folded. So it does kind of help keep gunk and stuff out and dust and stuff like that as well. Uh, so there it is. Now let's go ahead and look at the sides and everything. So on this side here, obviously we just got a bunch of grip. There's no buttons, anything like that. On the bottom here, we do have a nice exposed cutout for the USB-C charging port, our mics and our speaker. And then on this side here, just a bunch of grip once again, but that's where our buttons and stuff start to come in play. Got some subcase branding there, as you can see. And then going here, we have our exposed power button, which obviously is a fingerprint scanner as well, so hence why it is cut out like that. And then we do have our volume up and down buttons here that does have a plus and minus as well. And then at the top, just a circular cutout for the, uh, or more of an oval cutout, I guess, for the mic up top. And then looking at it from the front, we do have some lips. So very nice raised lips around the front that is going to help protect the screen. So it does look pretty dang good. And once again, that's kind of how it looks sandwiched. So just show you all around real quick. So now let's go ahead and do the wobble test. So with it closed, there is no shake at all. And if I throw it face down, kind of the same thing, there is no shake at all. But when I open it all the way and then kind of just do it this way, uh, I do get a baby, baby shake in this corner right here, but it is very, very minimal, guys. So it does help pretty dang good. So it passes the wobble test pretty nicely. 
So next let's do the power button, clicky button test type of thing with the volume up and down. Now really, obviously the power button's exposed, so it's not like I'm gonna be able to do a clicky button test, but just being able to access the power button like I am here, um, it is nicely exposed, so I, I do, so I do have complete exposure and access to that power button. And next let's do the clicky button test for the volume up and down. All right, so the button is very clicky, very tactile, passes the clicky button test with flying colors, so definitely not too shabby. So next, let's grab my Qi wireless charger and let's see if it is able to wirelessly charge through this heavy duty case. All right, so I got my charger here, slap it on. And as you can see there, guys, it is instantly recognizing that it is wirelessly charging. It is fast wirelessly charging. So that is awesome with the Spigen charger that I have. So you are definitely able to uh, do all of the power and you know, kind of stuff with this phone wirelessly. Uh, you are able to do uh, Samsung Pay and Google Pay as well with ease. So there is no issues at all with that. So there it is, guys. Dang good looking case. Has a great grip, great texture to it. Feels really good. Feels very uh, protective of my phone here, especially with this foldable device. There's always that fear. And then it does come with a holster. So it is kind of a semi-transparent holster. Almost kind of has the same hint of color as the color of the actual phone a little bit. So it doesn't look exactly black, but it doesn't look gray, um, has this pretty nice little felt material here that is going up against the phone, uh, and then obviously a nice uh, heavy duty clip there, and you can rotate it 360 if you wanted to. Uh, I don't know, no, it looks like you're not able to use it as a kickstand. Sometimes you're able to lock it in place, but it does not look like you can do that with this one here. But let's go ahead and see what it looks like installed. I have not installed one of these yet on a flip, but there it is installed if you wanted to have it face out. So looks pretty good. And then obviously the way to take it out is you would just push against that and then just take the phone out. Pretty simple process. And then I gotta imagine you can put it face down too. Yep, so if you wanted it face down so that way the screen or at least the LCD screen is up against that felt part there then you're good to go as well. But a uh, nice little addition, you know, if you are someone that does rock a holster on a belt or something. Uh, but there it is, guys. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.